Well, we have good load here dropped off from Walmart. Looks like everything I wanted was in stock. I see my bubble water, paper towels, toilet paper, snackies. Well, all right then. I guess I better start hauling it in and showing it to you. Welcome to my channel, everybody. If you're new, welcome here. And if you're not new, welcome back, everyone. Well, here we go. Let's get started on this. It was, I don't know that I'm going to have to look up and give you the total before the end, but it was a haul because I had a lot of big ticket items that needed to be replaced. For instance, toilet paper is not inexpensive and paper towels. If it were up to me, we would get bargain paper towels, but I'm 100% outvoted here on that. They use bounty and only bounty. Here's some more that's kind of pricey. I get my little poodles, this kind of grain-free dog food. I get, every time I say it, I can't believe I'm saying it. They're gluten-free poodles. Uh, they have reactions if they don't get this. So, um, I mean gluten-free. Two of those. These two things will go in my Thanksgiving box that I've got in the bedroom, keeping it apart from all of the other foods so that when I go to make things, and these are both for um, uh, Chex Mix, <laughs> because we used up the nuts we had. There you have that. They went in the school lunches. School, where did that come out of my mouth? I mean, really? They went to work lunches with my grown men. More stuff that needed to be re-put and is expensive. So I use this laundry sanitizer for the uh, guy who works outdoors and in a lot of garbage and stuff and just not really garbage but high scented items. <laughs> and then OxyClean for stains from the one who works on oil and stuff. And I use the Mighty Packs and I just refill my container with it when it gets about two-thirds empty, and that's what I needed to do. And so then I've got, I said that, this is what I use to clean the refrigerator door when I do it. <clears throat> it's really hard to keep, in my opinion, stainless steel clean. And this does the best job. If you've not tried it, it's worth trying. Then I replaced my... I thought I got press and seal. What I got was cling and seal. That was my bad. The only meat that I got was the uh, Wright brand bacon, and it's our favorite here. I get other brands, but I really like this the best. You get one and a half pounds in each one, and we're a family of five adults, so that's a good thing. <laughs> so here's just some stock up for the pantry. I have eight cans of the beef broth, the Great Value brand. It's just fine. I make my own bone broth for chicken and chicken broth, but I don't make beef broth. I tried it and I didn't like the result. Uh, I got five cans of pinto beans. I got two containers of the Crisco pure vegetable oil. Now I thought I ordered one and probably I accidentally ordered two, but they'll get used and I'll put those in the pantry. There's a refill, refill on the Nutella and then there's these, and these aren't really a pantry item, they go in my purse. For drinks this time, there's Milo, zero calorie, that's what I like to drink, when I'm not drinking Topo Chico, and that's just mineral water, unflavored, nothing in it, just mineral water. It's my favorite, I think it's got the most bite back bubble. <laughs> and then I get this for one kid and for the can out front where I feed the delivery people. So let's do fruits and veggies, shall we? <laughs> For juices, I got one of the Simply Orange. You know, it says pulp-free. I didn't care. It, pulp or non-pulp, it doesn't matter here. They'll drink it. And then I got five bananas, it looks like. Sugar pumpkin. Two yellow onions. I didn't open this, but these are... Hold on a minute. Four bell peppers. These are the potatoes that I actually wanted, but I, when the kid went to the store and got potatoes, that's what I got was the bigger ones. But these are fine and they'll stay. And then I got some sweet potato cubes for whatever. They're, uh, they're not frozen, they're just refrigerated. I'll stick them in the freezer and a fridge and we'll have them when I want to use them. 
I got two of the, is it six boxes? I, six cans, I think it is. Anyway, two of these, and the guys all like to drink that. And some frozen blueberries, which were a special request. Some broccoli florets. Two sweet peas. And one peas and carrots. So that's it. I need to put this frozen stuff away right now. Ooh, focus, focus. So we got uh, two of the Franz brand big white bread. And typically I don't buy white bread, but sometimes I just wanna. And today I wanted. Here's dairy. I got 18 large white eggs. And I thought this was cool. I can't wait to have a peppermint flavored um, or topped uh, dark chocolate coffee some morning, you know, after Thanksgiving. And this would be fine. These things have a, typically they have a really long day out. Let's see. Can we, can we see? We'd like to see. There we go. Yeah. April 6th. This is good until, and I've never had this brand. Come on, but I think it'll be good. And then I got regular whip topping. These are going to go out in the shop refrigerator so that nobody gets into them because they won't. And then one of the whole milk, Two of the white sharp cheddar cheese individually wrapped. These are popular in work lunch boxes too, and they're often out. And I got two, four, six, eight, ten Chobanis. There's two of the key lime crumble. I don't eat these at all ever. Uh, it's for the, the guys. S'more, s'mores kind. Some perfect peach cobbler kind. Salted Caramel Crunch, Peanut Butter Cup, and finally, Mint Chocolate Chip. They eat these like, well, like they're junk food, because they are. <laughs> and lastly, I think for um, dairy is one pound of Salted Butter Great Value brand. It was the least expensive they had. So that's almost it. I have one category left. All right, so 72 items. I still have one, one the snackies to show you, but I want to do this first. There's 72 items. I had $4 in Walmart cash, which I don't totally understand, but they applied $4 of it. And um, before all the fees and everything, it was $270.75, and then the bag fee was $0.96, cents and tax was $9.91. My total does not include tip. The total was 31062 the tip was close to $30. That doesn't include what I put on the door. So, huh, that's a record for me. That's a record. My husband is on a boat in San, not in San Francisco. Well, is he? Yeah, he's in, he's in Oakland. Sorry. Anyway, um, he's probably calling for a medic right now if he sees this. <laughs> okay. It's not funny, Kendra. Don't laugh. Uh, so this has got goldfish in it. I can't get this at Walmart. I can only get it at my Fred Meyer Kroger or Safeway. So when I go to those stores, I get these. When I don't go to these stores, I keep this box and I put these that are just paper. This is empty. I dumped it in here because the kids like it that way. It's easy for them to come along, open the thing, shake it into their hand, close the thing, and wander off easier than this, I guess. So that's how that went down. These are for the mailbox, uh, mailbox, for the can out front for the mail delivery, UPS, FedEx, all of the delivery people, grocery delivery people, whatever. And there's signs out there letting them know to open the refrigerator if they're wanting anything out there. And this is also for delivery people. This is the um, snowballs that are a great value uh, brand. They're not very expensive, and they are um, individually wrapped uh, rather than two to a container, you know? So these are really, and they're very popular. When they're out there, they go first in the refrigerator out there on the front porch. If you're new, I'll just show a quick picture of what that looks like, the refrigerator out there. I got these for the kids here, adult kids here. That's a favorite. And I don't want to talk about the story that went around that I actually told everybody about that apparently is uh, not true. Anyway, 
These are for the family. Iced pumpkin sliced loaf cake. I think that'd be good with coffee. That's my story. I'm going to show you that now, that out front. Delivery drivers, help yourself. Here's the refrigerator. <clears throat> Open it up. There's sodas and snacks and fruit. Nobody ever wants my fruit. <laughs> and it's a sun, sun, shiny day today. But, oh, it's going to get cold. We're going to have our first hard freeze. And it's early because it doesn't usually happen until about Thanksgiving or the day before or the day after. So early, early. Hey, if you stuck around with me this long, thank you so much for watching. Say hi. I love to meet new people. I love to chat. And that's all I wrote. So I hope you have a great evening. Bye, everybody.